Yeah, it's been quite similar. I think Mal's tried to keep it quite similar to what we we usually do uh, with our respective clubs. But at the same time, it's it's not a club game. You know, we're not <laughs> we're not preparing for an NRL match. We're preparing for a state of origin game. And I think Mal's approach has been, um, you know, that when we're training, we want to get the most out of our sessions and train with a lot of intensity. But uh, if we do that, you know, to try and have you know, a fair bit of downtime as well. So. Um, we've come into games before where we've tried to over-prepare at times, I think. And uh, I think that's probably been a hindrance more than um, something that's helped us leading into matches. So the feedback from you know, previous, previous years is that the boys like having the, the high-intensity trainings, but um, a bit more rest so we feel... Yeah, like we're we're ready to go Wednesday night, and and I think it's been great. You know, the preparation's been really good. The two of post sessions that we've had have been really sharp, um, and the and the teams you know training well. So the preparation has been good so far. We've got one more session tomorrow, but um, everyone's feeling really good. Did you say that a post session? That's that's, pretty, that's the last two sessions you've had, isn't it? You post up yeah. So the intensity and it's the simulation is. Um, otherwise, you just go through the motions of feel if you just run against no one. Is that the quality of the quality? Yeah, it is. It's. Uh, well, it's what we're going to do Wednesday night against the Blues. You know, you need to run against some opposition, and um, we've had a run against two um, Intrust Super Cup teams in Burley and Norse, and uh, yeah, they they give us a really good hit out. So, um, yeah, as far as training's concerned, I, you know, I've been really pleased with the way we've performed on the paddock. Um, but again, it, it's another thing you know, to go out and do it against the Blues. But our preparation's been good, and that's what we asked everyone to do at the start of the week: is prepare well. And uh, we've done that so far. Uh, us or Norse? <laughs> yeah, no, all the boys are really good. Um, it was great to have um, Justin on the field with us. Uh, it's the first full session that he's had um, in the entire camp, and uh, he came through pretty good. So um, that's a that's a great sign. Uh, but you know, if if Hodgie's not right, then we got Will Chambers there, who's been training with us all week, and he's trained really well. So, um, but yeah. As far as um, yeah, the, from the way he's pulled up, he'll be he'll be right to play. Yeah, he was. Well, he's had his feet up for about five days, so he should. He's got fresh legs. No, but he's. Uh, I think he. You know, he Justin knows his own body. You know, he's he's had a few injuries um, quite recently, so he knows when he's right to go. And um, you know, as as you said, he, he trained quite well yesterday, so I think uh, he'll be um, he'll be right on Wednesday. <coughs> Um, yeah, well, I'm fairly lucky. I don't really have to motivate this group. They're all, they're all, um, you know, driven individually to to perform well and and to try and go out and, and win this first match. You know, it's not we don't sit down in this camp and, and say, boys, let's make it nine in a row. We <clears throat> we talk about firstly what we need to do during the week and then you know going out to perform well in, in game one. Um, and we haven't been happy, to be honest, with you know the past couple of series with the way we've played. Um, we've played well enough when we had to, um, you know, to to put points on the board. But I still feel we haven't played well as a team, or as good as we can as a team in the last couple of series. So um, that's the challenge that we've given ourselves: is to go out and play the very best we can. Mate, at what point will you know <coughs> if the guys are ready? Um, well, with the way we start, it's, it's going to be the first 15 minutes of, of the game. So far, I, I know they've prepared well. That's all I can ask of them so far. But it's not until um, the first whistle blows on Wednesday. And, you know, we're sort of 15 minutes into the game. I'll know by their attitude and, and the actions that they perform on the field, whether whether we're ready to go or not. Cam, uh, New South Wales obviously got rooking halves. You've got two of the best in the business. <coughs> mm. um, is that a potential really real point of difference? Well, we're lucky we got three of the best, I believe. Um, one's on the bench. But, um, yeah, it could, well, it could be a difference, you know, but at the end of the day, it's it's up to us to try and take their halves out of the game or, or not take them out of the game, but minimise what they do in the game. Uh, you know, particularly Reynolds. He's a uh, he's a, he's quite an, an X-factor type, type player and uh, he's been playing like that for the last couple of years for the Bulldogs and <clears throat> he just plays with a lot of energy and... Uh, wherever the ball is, he'll be. He's uh, he's a lot like Jonathan Thurston, but um, 
you know, Hodkinson is a is a wonderful player as well. He's a he's a guy that really steadies the ship, I believe, and he's got a strong kicking game. He's you know, he's he's doesn't get flustered at all. So we need to try and apply pressure to them as a team. You know, um, both in attack when they've got the footy and when they're defending. Yeah, you know, trying to get some blokes at them and really test them out. How, how important will it be for, for those halves? I mean, how big is the jump from club footy to, to origin? Oh, look, it's yeah, it's a big jump. You know, it's it's faster. It's it's more physical for the entire 80 minutes. It's not sort of you know sort each other out the first 20 and then it sort of um, you know it dies off a bit. It's 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 flat out from the first whistle to the last whistle. So um, it's a big jump. You know, Reynolds has been there before in a different role of you know as a utility, but yeah, you know, he knows what it's about, but. You know, certainly Hodkinson is uh, coming into his first match, so that's an opportunity to re- for us to really test him out and see how he handles it. Okay, and they talk about Reynolds and a couple of other guys who are notorious for getting under people's skin. But yeah. Can it work the other way for them? Can they sort of go in with that mentality and sort of lose their head? I mean, you guys are so calm, been there before, relaxed, you've got guys like you know, Scott and Watmo and all yeah. that. Can it work the other way where those guys could, you could probably get under their skin? Um, in a way, yeah. When when you don't react, I think that, that acts in a reverse for those type of players. And, you know, I think that's what this team's done uh, a fantastic job of doing over the last eight years is that we go out and play football. We don't go out to, you know, try and bait the opposition or bait certain players. <clears throat> we just go out to do our job and if something happens... Um, yeah, we just we just get on with our roles in our team, and um, perfect example was Nate Miles. You know, he um, had a bit of a blow up there. It's been well noted, but he just got on with his job, and uh, we played footy. So, um, you know, we can't control what the opposition are going to do. We can't control what certain op- opposition players are going to try and do on Wednesday. We just worry about ourselves, and that's what works for us. Cam Robbie Farrow hasn't played much footy for the last yeah. month or so, and they've got no backup on the bench, do you work him over and try and wear him out? Um, yeah, well, I think that's a given. Um, I think every number nine in the game gets a workout in defence. Um, one reason because you know, you're the smallest bloke in the pack and the second reason is you know you, you want them to do plenty of work to try and you know, minimise what they do in attack. So, uh, But I'm sure you know, Robbie's going to be <coughs> well prepared. He's a, he's a professional player. He, I, you know, I've played alongside him alongside him several times and I, I know he prepares really well so um, he's going to be the very best he can be um, you know, given he's only played one match in a month but um, I'm sure he'll, he'll be doing plenty of work defensively. Ken, what did you make of Paul Gallon's comment last week? I know Willie Lewis saw it as a sign of disrespect. Do you share similar sentiments or how did you... What was that? Say? What was that one? Oh, the one about the two heads. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't, I didn't know about that actually until a, um, a few days into our camp but Oh, I think that just that's Gal just being Gal, you know. I think that's probably a bit of a, a loose comment. I don't think he really meant too much about it. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's he's actually quite a good mate of mine, to be honest. Um, yeah, I've played a fair few games with him in the Aussie side, and um, yeah, so I don't think he really meant too much about that. But uh, I did I did see that he mentioned that. You know, that mateship is gone out the window on Wednesday night. You know, he's uh, he's the enemy, and there's no secret. Queensland hate New South Wales, and New South Wales hate Queensland. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens there. You said this morning he got a, he got a pretty good welcome at the airport this morning. Is that surprise you that he did well, get a good welcome? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, the uh, autographs and is the hate is the hate dying out? <coughs> well, there might have been five or so New South Welshmen at the airport <laughs> getting autographs. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but no, I can guarantee you the the hate for New South Wales hasn't hasn't gone out the window. I think um, you know state of origin and the and the, and the Feeling around the games and you know the popularity is, is I've never seen it, um, you know, so great. So I don't think the hate. You know, if you're there Wednesday night, which you all will be, um, I'm pretty sure you'll see it towards Paul Gallon when he runs here. Oh, we spoke about it quite early. Um, and you know we, we had a it was a nice touch I think where we walked out with the guys from the from the original state of origin side um, and we spoke about you know their legacy and um, you know what it meant to start that um, concept up in 1980 so we're all aware of what it's about and we we're, were aware about 
yeah, the concept of state of origin before this year, but I think it's um, all the all the boys are, um, yeah, they they're very proud to be a part of such a significant match, and um, yeah, hopefully that that means we're going to have a sellout crowd there. I know there's been a bit of talk about that, but um, I hope all the public you know, feel that they want to be a part of such a big game as well. Yeah, with um, funnily enough, he was in the games won, I think, in 1980, he played against Queensland. Mm. He was in, you know, and then he also obviously played with Queensland again, too, so yeah. he was a better example. And he, did he mention that when he was, because you, know, you, you walked up with him on stage? Yeah, you know, uh, no, I already, already knew that. I um, already knew that. Um, that was the case with, with Johnny Lane. Um, my dad had told me that, you know, back when I was a little fella, that that's what ha used to happen. You know, all the all the um, Queensland blokes that wanted to make a um, fist of rugby used to go down to Sydney, and um, Lange was um, one of the guys that played for New South Wales and Queensland in the, in the same year. So that, that would have been a bit bit different. Yeah, but um, you know, I, I just thought it was a really good experience, you know, to walk along with those guys and. Um, you know, hopefully we, we make them proud with our performance on Wednesday. Cam, how important is it to get quality ball to Greg Inglis? I know sometimes he feels out in the centres, he probably you know, feels isolated a bit. Do you mm. think it's you know, important to get him into the game nice and early? Uh, yeah, it is. He's, um, people, people reckon he's a lot like Mel back in the day where you know, if, you kept, if the opposition kept him happy and kept him quiet, he, he's not going to do too much damage. But if you got him angry and got him some early ball, he can, uh, can terrorise you all day. So. Yeah, I think we, we, you know, we'd be silly not to give him some early ball um, straight up when we get out there because um, you know we've seen in the past when he gets early ball out wide, he can he can cause a lot of damage, particularly when he's one on one with someone. So um, yeah, we'll be trying to do that. But if if we can't, then we're not going to force it. You know, we're not going to we're not going to put a lot of pressure on ourselves just to try and get Greg the ball. I think we need to you know, play smart, and if the opportunity is there, we'll do it. He did it again, did he? <laughs> Jeez. But you guys, you don't really get too involved in a war of words. It seems as though, again, this year, with the sub-watch, we keep hitting the and trying to spark a little bit more of words. Have you guys done a bit of No, well, we don't need to. Yeah, we're, we're quite comfortable with the way we prepare and um, yeah, where we're at at the moment with our preparation. And, um, <clears throat> you know, whether Gal's trying to fire us up or stir us up or upset us, I'm, I'm not too sure, but... I have a bit of a laugh. It's quite funny, I reckon. <laughs> Wally was saying that, 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 that that's been the no thing. Queensland has never actually criticised since day one. They've never actually been trying to be stuff back precise saying they hate Queensland. <coughs> you know, so they actually get individual sort of comments. They don't go that, down that path. It's sort of it's a respect thing, and that's what, one thing that I'm sure Mal's sort of stressed that as well. And that's the, yeah. you know, you were talking about the other the former players, but right across the board, it seems to be a real, a real bonus. Yeah, I think um, that's, that's something that. Mel has uh, brought to the group when he when he first started coaching is to be to be humble and um, you know, always enjoy you know success or enjoy winning games but never you know get carried away with with what we've done and you know, always show respect to the opposition because if you don't show respect to the opposition then sort of it's hard to go out there and play well against them and, and win so um, we know we we know we're playing against a great side and we don't need to call people names or call people south of the border names yeah at the end of the day they're they're humans like we are but for 80 minutes we're, we're enemies and we go out and play as hard as we can on, on the football field and then after that it's it's done and dusted